Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to South Park The Stick of Truth, my new playthrough a week after Grand Theft Auto 4. So why did I choose to play this game? Well, it's because it's fun, and it's absolutely freaking hilarious! So without further ado, let's get on to this new game and let's get started. And I won't talk over the cutscenes. Deep in the lands of Zarad, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war seem to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. I love how he explained the exposition in the form of a cartoon. And, well, that's pretty much the gist of what's going on. I am making a new character to end up joining in an affray of the neighborhood kids fighting amongst the Stick of Truth. Now then, uh, the character creation, while they only have like five skin tones, one of which is a spray tan, you also have like 30 different types of hair and 30 different types of outfits to choose from. Whatever outfit you choose, uh, yes, even this one. By the way, World War Z, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Whatever outfit you choose, you will be stuck with for the rest of the game. You can't really change your default outfit until, that is, the day is over. Then, the game will automatically put you in a different outfit. But, <clears throat> once again, this default outfit will be what's going to be on your person until, that is, you get your class. Well, no, no. Actually, that's going to be on your person permanently. The armor you put on top of it will be, uh, depending on your class. But anyway, these are all makeup uh, options you could put on your character. Hell, if you come in with ginger freckles and red hair, Cartman will make fun of you. Especially if your skin is pale white. But, then again, he'll make fun of you regardless of what you dress as. So, without further ado, let's go on ahead and start the story. You'll see what I mean when we get to Cartman. I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't, he doesn't remember. remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. Your dad's not kidding. 
You only have a limited amount of time before he kicks you out of the house. Anyway, here's the options. At any time, you can change the gameplay from normal to hard or to easy. Why would you choose hard or easy? I don't know. I mean, the game is easy on all difficulties anyway. You can even change the uh, sound, like lower it or raise it, or change the subtitles on and off, and change the uh, visuals, or should I say the brightness, to high or low. That store right here won't be open until after day two. Yes, there's three days in South Park. Now then, you can also raid cabinets and bathrooms, not to mention use people's toilets. And if that's not enough, you can actually go into the toilet and take the shit nugget. I'm not kidding, folks. This game goes and be above and beyond the Call of Duty for a LARPing game. Ah, yes, LARPing. I remember that back in my childhood. I didn't go into toilets, but I did play Dungeons and & Dragons. And at the worst possible time, the 80s, where a crazy religious fanatic think that Dungeons & Dragons killed her son. Yeah, really crazy time. Anyway, your mom has left money in the ca on the kitchen room uh, counter. Make sure you get that. And speaking of your mom, eventually in day two, she'll be your friend. Your father, on the other hand, not so much, as you need 50 friends in order for you to get him as a friend on Facebook. Yeah, your parents are trying to keep you from being caught by the government, and yet they're doing things to uh, make it to where the government will find you. Like, for instance, eventually friend you on, first, on Facebook. Sorry. Ugh. Stuttering too much. Anyway... You can always go into people's garages. Some of them are locked. Some of them are not locked. But the ones that aren't locked, just simply go in unless there is some sort of uh, weapon that needs to be required to you get into these uh, garages. Yeah, uh, and now, to we forest. come to a fight. Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. But my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. And now for the key mechanic of this game, friends. Unlike Grand Theft Auto 4, which they will constantly call you, your friends, however, aren't that annoying. Well, say for one. However, he's part of a boss battle. Anyway, your friends are also used for to get perks. I'll explain more later. So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Now, in order to get perks, you need to get a certain amount of friends. If you do, you'll be able to get one perk per a set number of friends. You'll only be able to get up to ten, but these perks will do things like Ooh, increase... The Shut damage up, to enemies that are afflicted with bad stats, or increase the don't strength talk, talk her, or power again. of your magic. And soon, we'll be going into the kingdom of Koopa Keep. And in case you're wondering about the initials, yes, it is exactly what it is. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be ripped. And speaking of friends, there are missable friends in this game. Make sure you actually talk to Clyde, he is one of those mystical friends, before you talk to Cartman or else you get screwed out of them. And as for friends request here, pick up a daffodil and give it to Princess Kitty. And since Kitty speaks very illegibly, you are going to be able to understand what quote unquote she says, um, I'm talking over that cutscene there. Now, also you'll you be able to be friends with Scott at time. any time. But Clyde is a one-time thing, because once you begin digging. to uh, talk to Cartman, well, afterwards, you'll you have see. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. 
I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Don't even bother, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever name you type in, despite it being in a menu, guess what happens? You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, Mage, Thief, or Jew. As you just saw, it doesn't matter what like you wizard, pick or what class you pick, you look Cartman has something slick out the mouth to say. Now, your difficulty in this game is not based on the actual difficulty, but what class you pick. Fighter sucks. Jew broken. That's all you need to know. So to make this a little bit more difficulty at the same time not too difficult, I'm gonna go with Thief. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Thief. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. And now you can purchase a weapon, which, Would for the like time being, the only thing that will be available is the weapon Perhaps of your you starting like class. And, for, and for now, Clyde will be the person in charge of the armory. He also will sell tips and rumors, which, if you pay him $2, he'll tell you you shouldn't waste money on tips and rumors. For they are ah, useless. Anyway, just buy the weapon, and simply go into your inventory and equip the weapon, so you will begin the story. So yeah, let's get started. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Long story short, timing is the key of this game. And if you time your hits incorrectly, well, you'll see. Ah! Ah! That all you got? Oh my god, it's butters all over again. Okay, look, try putting your back into it at the last possible moment. Now then, let's show you how the timing oh. works properly. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Now, I'll take this time to tell you how power Dick. attacks really work oh, since the game like doesn't blood. explain. Nice, there is a helmet on the right-hand like corner that. of the, okay, no, the top right-hand corner of the screen underneath the opponent's the HP bar. Clyde, you attack. see, attack. that will then indicate how much more damage you'll do with a power attack the less armor the enemy has. The same can apply to you, however, so keep that in mind. Also, we're going into blocking, and you had best master yeah, blocking about. in you this game. If you don't, by God, you will regret it, right. especially against the optional power. boss. Using your and now we're being introduced to PowerPoints, or PP. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Clyde's Please laughing, Eric's getting on his case. But, uh, PowerPoints, there are certain, um, skills that will use all of your PowerPoint meter, and then there's certain skills that you can use two times. The thief can actually use backstab twice, which would make this fight go a hell of a lot faster. What? I was going there are certain, um, this is unblockable. skills, however, that will consume all of your PP at once, but they are very powerful, and the Jew has all of them in its class, but that's the point. The point of the matter is, I'm going to end this fight right here. And make sure you get the timing right, too. Oh, and by the way, after this battle, if you're friends with Clyde, not anymore. Ha 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 Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, beam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long! 
for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! Well, we better go help Cartman. By the way, the stuff I keep picking up, like chicken bones and stuff like that, that can't be used as equipment, there's you can I'm sell that. However, there's an achievement where you go through the game without selling stuff. Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Juicebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Let me retract my last statement. It's after this event with the elves that Clyde will unfriend you. Anyway... I might as well talk about this now because Do it, there are some action. details this game will leave out. Like for instance, when it comes down to archers, sometimes there will be arrows You're that wounded, you will oh, not be able to block. Here. Other times there will be arrows that you'll be able to easily block. When an archer tries to shoot you, the make sure you block their turn. shots. I, for five, but this was I mean, you will be Dispatch, able to, Dispatch, try to block, block all attacks. Maybe one or two of Take them, that. but there's certain arrow shots that are unblockable. And well, speaking of blocking, block out, you, you have to block on, right. combos. Eat shit. And it is crucial that you do, especially Bob, against Maybe I the optional yeah, boss of this game. Well, there are more than one optional bosses, but there's one in particular that I am alluding to, who has been labeled the hardest boss in the game. Other than like the actual storyline okay, boss at the end of the game. Now, if you manage to uh, Kick the shit out of him. stop a combo, you can get a counter hit, and that counter hit will now do damage like 10% damage of what what of what the enemy would actually hit you. So keep that in mind. Now it's time for me to go on ahead and get rid of this archer. He's going to be a pain. Uh. Now, he's going to come back. Ah. Block. Hit him again. You can block him on the second or the ah. first hit. Great job, douchebag. Either way. That takes care of the yeah. first one. Now. Yeah. Just pick up the, uh... Kick their asses, yeah. I got you back. Stuff from the elves that you can. Because the last elf, you... Kill will not be able to have his drop picked up. You can only be able to pick up you two out of the three tr elves' Head drops, that. at least. And now you're also given a bow. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go With this that. bow, you can actually combat against reposting <laughs> characters. Oh, man, he was totally and you, what reposting you is, like if that. you run into a person who you is ready for you, they will counter by answer. smacking I'm, I'm you. And you've got to tell whether back. somebody's no reflecting fish. or reposting. If they're reposting, use arrows. The if the they're back. reflecting, oh, use your sword. If they are oh. reflecting yeah, and you are using the your the sword, head. that will lower the damage on... I mean, lower the defense, sorry, on else. the enemy. If not, they'll instantly counter your arrow shots if they're reflecting, and they will stab you if you are... Um, attacking a reposted character. Oh, it's, uh... I know I just repeated myself, Great job, but that just made a little bit more sense. And now that leaves us with that one guy that hey, is attacking Kitty. No, I don't think you'll be doing that anymore. That Take that! Now we come to shield nukes. For the sake of Let's this example, this, if you don't finish the shield mook off in one turn, he will regenerate his shield and his health. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shield so in order to get rid of shield over over mooks, you got to use uh, basic attacks, not power attacks, but basic attacks, to chip the shield down. But one thing is perfectly clear, you got to time your hits to do more damage. If you don't, you'll end up, uh, causing min uh, the minimum of damage. 
And in this case, -uh. you'll just be stalking the loop and not being able to kill this guy. But I managed to pull it off quickly. Now then, since he's got a two-handed weapon, that just makes his defense and armor go down. Somewhat. At least that's what it's supposed to go. I'm not sure about that. I'll have to read up on that more and I'll give you more information on that in later parts. But for right now, we just save the Koopa Keep from the Elven Invasion. I mean the Kingdom of Koopa Keep, sorry. I still can't go over the fact he calls it the KKK. It's God. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, then you can make me a douchebag like you sure can fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king! Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! I think I jumped the gun a bit, and I apologize for that. Yes, now like the new kid in you town quest has been complete after we ran off the elves. Well, so, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to buy me a scimitar because his wooden sword is not doing it for me. And, hopefully that will work out. Let's see if any equipment I... Oh, Clyde's helmet. Um, I'm not sure what that will do, but one thing is for sure, we have a new quest. We have to take three letters, one to Token, one to Tweak, and one to Craig. And as you notice, Craig, not Craig, Clyde, sorry. Clyde had unfriended you, and now, since you got a level, now you'll be able to upgrade one of your skills. And because you also got a level, you have a new skill, which is Mug if you're a thief. What I just did was added more damage to uh, Backstab. And also, that flag right there, that is to call uh, the transport service for Timmy. To make things a little bit easier. And that too is a side quest. Also, talk you to Cartman's mom, now. brand new friend. Oh. And if you smack her on the behind, well, of course she's going to let out a moan. Now we can go into Cartman's room and uh, raid his room. closet and raid his uh, valuables. Exactly are you for? By the way, the doll on his uh, bed, that is actually a friend request, but we can't get that until later. Now, uh, one last thing that needs to be done. Go into his mom's room. Check all the drawers, and you'll find yourself an underpant, pair of underpants. I don't know why this she has a pair of Cartman's week, underpants Cartman's in her room. She was doing hand magic and butt magic. Okay, then again, Cartman's mom's a dirty whore. Uh, but she's got a pair of Cartman's underwear, and the underwear, believe it or not, this is, where is a part of a side Ooh, quest. Like the wizard is brewing some potion in here. However, Ooh, that will be oh, until like day three. And uh, Cartman won't mind if I use his bathroom. Oh yeah, pro tip. If, it's if you come in here you and you check Cartman's toilet before you use the toilet, Cartman would leave behind a turd. If you're lucky enough, you'll end up picking it up and you'll end up with three shit nuggets instead of two. So, let's just leave and... 
Let's call it a session. We are to go in the street. next episode. Oh, wait, before we do, let's talk to Dougie, and to then we're going to call it a session. In the next episode. Oh, wait, hold on, forgot. Chin Pokemon. Let's pick that up, and we need to pick up 30 of these, by the way, before we get a friend request from the Chin Pokemon Company. And now we're going to call it a session. In the next episode, we're going to be doing some quest and getting a summon in part two. Yes, there are summons in this game. See you guys next time.